It is not a dream. It is a simple feat of scientific electrical engineering. Electric power can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil or gas. Although perhaps humanity is not yet sufficiently advanced to be willingly led by the inventor's keen searching sense. Perhaps it is better in this present world of ours that a revolutionary idea be hampered in its adolescence. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Yes, humanity will advance with giant strides. We are whirling through endless space with an inconceivable speed. All around, everything is spinning, everything is moving, everywhere. There is energy! The house ought to be purified with fire. Purified until only its ashes remain. Then why do you live in it? Ah, I am pursuing my studies here. I dwell in it all the while that I may know the better how to hate it. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me, I believe I am a little mad. This is the very parchment, the attempt to recover which cost the beautiful Alice Pynchon her happiness and life. It is what the Pynchon sought in vain while it was valuable. And now that they find the treasure, it has long been worthless. My dearest Phoebe, I must tell you, my name is not actually Hallgrave. My name is Maul. What? 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 Can you forgive me after such a deceit on my part? Do you forgive me, Phoebe? One day, a carpenter named Jonathan Maul, the grandson of the reputed wizard and the son of he who built this house, was urgently summoned by old Mr. Pynchon to the House of the Seven Gables. In finding this lost deed, Maul had a plan. He told Pynchon that the only chance of acquiring its whereabouts would be through the clear crystal medium of a pure and innocent intelligence, like, like that of his daughter, the fair Alice Pynchon. Maul had something of the old wizard in him, for he used mesmerism or hypnosis to lure the secret from young Alice's mind. Unfortunately, she did not awaken from his powers, and she promptly fell to the floor, dead. <laughs>